वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जाम्पल टू सो बाई मीन्स ऑफ राउथ क्राइटेरिया फाइंड द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द सिस्टम रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय फॉलोइंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन सो द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज गिवन ऑलरेडी दैट इज एस टू द पावर फाइव प्लस एस टू द पावर फोर प्लस थ्री एस क्यूब प्लस नाइन एस स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटीन एस प्लस टेन इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू फॉर्म अ राउथ एर एंड आफ्टर दैट बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ साइन चेंजेस वी विल चेक डैट द सिस्टम इज स्टेबल और नॉट सो लेट्स फर्स्ट परफॉर्म द राउथ एर सो द राउथ एर विल लुक लाइक दिस हियर द हाइएस्ट पावर इज एस टू द पावर फाइव सो वी विल राइट हियर एस टू द पावर फाइव देन एस टू द पावर फोर एस टू द पावर फोर देन एस टू द पावर थ्री एस टू द पावर थ्री एस टू द पावर टू एस टू द पावर टू एस टू द पावर वन एंड देन हियर द एस टू द पावर इज जीरो कैन बी टेकन सो आफ्टर दैट वी विल फाइंड आउट द इवन एंड ऑड कॉफिशेंट ऑफ एस टू द पावर्स सो द इवन कॉफिशेंट आर एस टू द पावर फोर एस नाइन एस स्क्वायर एंड एस टू द पावर जीरो दैट इज टेन सो ही आर द कॉफिशेंट इज वन ही आर द कॉफिशेंट इज नाइन ही आर द कॉफिशेंट इज टेन एंड द ऑड कॉफिशेंट्स आर एस टू द पावर फाइव हुज कॉफिशेंट इज वन एस टू द पावर थ्री हुज कॉफिशेंट इज थ्री एंड एस टू द पावर वन हुज कॉफिशेंट इज सिक्सटीन Let's come on to the Routh array back. In the Routh array, the highest power of S is five. That is, the odd power is present here. So we will write the odd powers first. So one, then three, then sixteen. After that, the even power of S, that is, S to the power four, is present. So we will write the even power of S. That is one, then nine. Then ten. After th this, we will perform the multiplication to fill the further entries. So, one will be multiplied with three, and nine will be multiplied with one in this fashion. So we will get one into three, one into three, subtracted by nine multiplied with one. Nine multiplied with one, the whole result will be divided by this one. So we will get minus six as our result. So minus six we will write here. After that, this one will be multiplied with sixteen. One will be multiplied with sixteen minus this ten will be multiplied with this one. Ten into one divided by this one only. So we will get six here. So six. So no further column is present for the further multiplication. So we will write zero in the remaining entry. After that, we will take these two elements of the first column and try to multiply it with the further columns. So minus six will be multiplied with nine. Minus six will be multiplied with one divided by this minus six. So we will get ten as a result. So ten will be written here. After that, minus six will be multiplied with this ten. Minus. This zero will be multiplied with one. We will get zero only. The whole will be divided by this minus six. So we will get ten again. And here the no remaining column is there, so we will write zero only. After this, we will take minus six and ten as the two elements, and try to multiply it. So ten will be multiplied with six. 
tan into 6 minus tan into minus 6 the whole will be divided by this tan so we will get 12 12 will be written here after this tan will be multiplied with 0 we will get 0 and 0 will be multiplied with minus 6 so the entire output will be 0 and no entries are there so 0 after this this we will take two elements 10 and 12 so 12 will be multiplied with 10 12 into 10 minus 0 multiplied with 10 so 0 only the whole will be divided by 12 so we will get 10 here so 10 will be written here after this this 12 will be multiplied with 0 we will get 0 minus 0 will be multiplied with 10 we will get 0 so the result will be 0 and we will write here 0 only so the route array is uh, successfully formed and after that we need to check the stability move on to the second point that is checking the stability so for checking the stability we always have to count the number of sign changes in the first row of the router array so here is the first row of the router array so one is positive one is positive no sign change one is positive six minus six is negative so here one sign change minus six is negative and 10 is positive so one sign change 10 is positive 12 is positive no sign change 12 is positive 10 is positive no sign change so total number of sign changes equals to 2 in the earlier videos we have discussed the three varieties of the question so this type of question in which neither all complete row becomes zero and nor the first element of particular column becomes zero so the it is not a type 1 question it is not a type 2 question but so it is type 3 variety of question it is type 3 question okay so we are discussing that the number of sign changes is equals to 2 it means that two roots two roots of characteristic equation lies in RHS of S plane that is this is the S plane and since the, there are two sign changes so we can predict that the two roots lies on the right hand side of the S plane this means that the system is unstable since the two roots lies in the right hand side of the S plane that's why we can predict that the system is unstable thank you if you like my videos then please subscribe to my channel and put a like button